Hello everyone, this is Sir Mayat, and in this video, we are going to discuss the limit of a function versus the value of the function. So here, we will distinguish between the limit of f of x as x approaches c and f of c. So this is very important because this is one of the misconceptions in calculus. Ang sabi nila, yung limit at yung value ng function are the same lang. Okay, and let's try to verify if they are really the same or not. Okay, so let us start. Ngayon, let's consider this illustration para mas makita natin yung difference between the limit of a function and the value of a function. Okay, so we have here a, a table. So ang gagawin natin is i-compare natin yung value ng limit at yung value ng function. Okay? So, makikita rin natin dito na ga gagamitin lang natin yung mga function na na-discuss natin in our previous video. Right? So, we have four functions here. The first one is 1 plus 2x. The second one is x squared plus x minus 6 all over x minus 2. We also have square root of x minus 3 and a piecewise function. x plus 1 when x is less than 4 and the uh, quantity x minus 4 squared plus 3 when x is greater than or equal to 4. Okay? Now, let's recall the limit of the first function. So, we have here the um, graph. So, based on the graph, you can see that the left-hand limit is 3, right? And the right-hand limit is also 3 since they meet at the same point, okay? So, from that, we can say that the limit of the function is equal to 3. Now, how are we going to find the value of the function? So, what we're going to do is to substitute lang the value of c to our function. So, that will be our c equal to 1. So, our x will be 1. So, that will become f of 1, which is equal to 1 plus 2 times 1, which is equal to 3. So, in this case, f of c or f of 1 is also equal to 3. So, they are the same. Okay? Makikita ran natin sa graph here na shaded yung value natin when x is equal to 1. Okay? So, from that, makikita mo na the value of the function at x equal to 1 is 3. Okay? Now, let's look at naman the second function. Okay? So, let's have the limit of the function as x approaches 2. So, we have here the graph of the function for number 2. So, this is 2 here. Okay, so from the left, it goes to 5, right? And from the right, it also goes to 5. So from that, we can say that the limit of the function is equal to 5. Now, how about for the value of the function at x equal to 2? So substituting f of 2 here, this will become 2 squared plus 2 minus 6 all over 2 minus 2, which is equal to 0 over 0. So, in that case, the value of the function does not exist or undefined sha. Okay? So, from here, we can say that the limit and the value of the function are not the same. Makikita rin natin sa graph ng function na, na yung value ng function at x equal to 2 is undefined kasi hollow point siya dito right so since hollow yung point natin at x equal to 2 so there ito so we can say that the value of the function does not exist okay now for number 3 naman so tingnan natin yung limit niya using the graph so as x approaches 3 from the left walang graph na matitrace. So, the left-hand limit does not exist, while the right-hand limit is 
equal to 0, right? So from that, we can say that the limit does not exist, okay? Since the reason is the left-hand limit does not exist. Now, how about the value of the function? Let's try to substitute 3 to our function that will be f of 3 that is equal to square root of 3 minus 3. And this is equal to square root of 0, which is 0. So the value of the function at x equal to 3 is 0. Makikita rin natin sa graph ng function na shaded siya at x equal to 3. And that is equal to 0. Okay? So we have that one. Now for the last one, we have this um, piecewise function looking at the limit through the graph. So we can have here from the left of 4, dito, so it goes to this point here, which is equal to 5. Now from the right, we have this one, which is equal to 3. They are not the same, so therefore we can say that the limit of the function at as x approaches 4 does not exist, right? Now, how about for the value of the function? In this case, since we have uh, a piecewise function, you need to identify kung saan na po fall yung value ng c. Here, our c is 4. And saan ba na po fall yung 4? That is when your x is greater than or equal to 4, right? So from that, we will substitute the value of, the, of x, which is equal to 4, here sa second equation. So f of 4 will be 4 minus 4 squared plus 3. And that is equal to 3. So therefore, the value of the function is 3. Now, looking at the graph again, makikita natin when x is equal to 4, there are two points. Right? But take note that when your point is hollow, um, hindi yun yung value ng function kasi undefined yun, right? So in that case, we have here the shaded one, which is equal to 3. So therefore, the value of the function at x equal to 4 is equal to 3. So we have this one. And again, the limit and the value of the function are not the same. So from that observation, we can say that the limit of f of x as x approaches c is not necessarily the same as f of c. So they are totally different. Okay? Now, let's try this one. Consider the graph of the function below and fill in the given table. So we have the graph here. So what we are going to do is to determine the limit of the function as x approaches c and the value of the function at x equal to c. And we will identify if they are equal or unequal. So let's start with c equal to negative 3. So negative 3 is here. So looking at the limit, the left-hand limit is here and the right-hand limit is here. So they both... Um, meet at the same point and the value of the point is most probably equal to 2.1. Suppose 2.1 na lang yan. So the limit is 2.1. How about the value of the function at x equal to 3? So you look at the point. Is it shaded or not? So in this case, it is shaded. So what is the value of that point there? That is equal to 2.1, right? So they are equal. Okay? So that's it for the first one. How about when c is equal to 0? So 0 is here. Okay? The left-hand limit is this one. So it is approaching 3. So the left-hand limit is 3 here. While the right-hand limit is approaching to this one, which is equal to 0. They are not the same. So therefore, the limit does not exist. Hindi nag yung graph natin. How about the value of the function? As you can see here, we have two points for x equal to 0. However, yung shaded i yung 0, right? 
So therefore, the value of the function is 0. And they are unequal. Okay? Now, how about when x is equal to 1? Here. Left hand limit, it goes to this point. And that point has a value sa so y-axis natin or y-value which is equal to 0. While for the right-hand limit, it goes to this one which is equal to 1. So they are not the same. The left and right-hand limit are not the same. So the limit does not exist in this case. And makikita rin natin na, na hindi sila nag -me meet at the same point. Right? Now, how about the value of the function at x equal to 1? So, as you can see, dalawa ulit yung point natin. Pero yung shaded ay si 1. So, siya yung kukunin natin. So, we have 1 here. And they are unequal. Okay? Now, how about when x is equal to 2? Or c is equal to 2? So, left-hand limit, it goes to this point here, which is equal to 1. And the right-hand limit, it goes to this point here, which is equal to 2. They are not the same, so it does not exist. How about for the value of the function? Again, we have two points. However, yung shaded I see 2. So, siya yung kukunin natin. So, we have 2. And this is unequal. Okay? Now, how about when C is equal to 3? The left hand goes to this point, so that is equal to 2. And the right hand limit, it goes to this point, which is also equal to 2. So therefore, the limit is equal to 2. Now, how about the value of the function at x equal to 3? Makikita natin na halo siya at that point. So in that case, the value of the function does not exist. So, they are unequal again. Okay? For the last one, when x is equal to 4, left-hand limit, it goes to this one. So, that is equal to 1. Then, the right-hand limit, it goes to this point also, so which is equal to 1. So, we have the limit equal to 1. Now, how about the value of the function here? It is not hollow, so meron siyang value, which is also equal to 1. So, therefore, they are equal. Okay, so that's it for this one. And that ends our um, lesson for the limit of the function versus the value of a function. Thank you for watching.